She is a princess. He is a self-styled shaman. It's a match made in superstition, if not heaven. I'm talking about Norwegian princess Martha Louise and her fiancé, Durek Veret. The duo has set down a date for their wedding and they are going to get married next summer in the village of Geranger. Surrounded by mountains, it's going to be a royal wedding like none other. Not for its pageantry, but because of the couple. They are one of a kind after all, with faint resemblance to Ed and Lorraine Warren from The Conjuring. For years, the Norwegian princess has claimed that she can talk to angels. Verit, on the other hand, can communicate with a broad range of spirits, as has been claimed. The couple toured Norway in 2019 as the princess and the shaman. They promoted their unfounded medical practices and beliefs. Last year, the princess relinquished her royal duties to pursue her real passion full-time. And now she runs an alternative medicine business with her fiancé. What sort of business is this? One that claims to cure COVID-19 with medallions. You heard that right. Durek Verret sells these medallions for $222. He calls them Spirit Optimizer. In his book, Spirit Hacking, he went so far as to claim that cancer was a choice. And that's not all. He also claims to have risen from the dead and to have predicted the 9-11 attacks in the U.S. two years before they took place. But mind you, Mr. Verret acknowledges that his beliefs can be uncomfortable for some. But Verret does not hesitate from calling this criticism racism. And his lover, the Norwegian princess, also says that research-based knowledge is important, but she believes alternative medicine is an important supplement. And that's why she started a school that aimed to help people get in touch with their angels. Once the couple is married, Verret will move to Norway and will join the royal family. Although he will not have a title, but who needs a royal title anyway? Verret is known by many names. Some call him an imposter. Some call him a charlatan. Others a quack. He calls himself a sixth generation shaman and is marrying a princess who shares his interests. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.